Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. We got a sneak preview into the Mopar Stellantis Ram truck Jeep display in the South Hall. I'm with Mark Trosel. He is the head of Ram Design and Mopar Design yep. and Engineering. That's awesome. So behind us is this amazingly cool uh, Vietnam era 67 uh, Kaiser Jeep M725. Yep. I mean, this thing is amazing. So Mark's going to give us the walk around, but I mean, start, let's just start by telling us about the concept of this vehicle. Sure. Yeah. We, you know, every year we like to, uh, you know, bring a beverage vehicle to, uh, to the Mopar display and we've been showing a Ram ProMaster the past, past few years and we thought, what a better way, what a better vehicle to, uh, to create a, a portable beverage unit and also have some fun with the, with the drivetrain in it as well, putting one of our, uh, 392 crate motors in it. Wow. You got a 392 crate in it. 5.7. <laughs> yeah. All right. So wait a minute. I caught something back there. This was originally an ambulance. Yeah. Or used as an ambulance. So you said something about a beverage mobile. We're going to get to that in a minute. <laughs> but I mean, so let's pop this hood yeah. and talk yeah. about this crate engine. Yeah. It's definitely the, the best sounding um. ambulance I think that you will ever here. <laughs> so, oh, wow. 485 horsepower. <laughs> that is beautiful. Guys, look at this. This is a 392 Hemi. Great way to showcase our, our Mopar crate engine. Wow. I love it. What a clean install. Holy moly. It's pretty well. And that's like pre smog. So, this is legal. Yeah. Like, yeah. Even in yeah. California. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome. I love it. And it's running. Torque flight? Yes. Net, yeah, Torque 727? Yep. yep. All right. Nice. I like that. So they can, you can buy this motor, crate in engine, from Mopar. From Mopar. Today. Correct. Yes. Yep. Oh, that's a wonderful thing. Wow. And just check out like this, this grill here. I know this actually looks like it might, this is an, you guys made this grill, yeah. right? Because the original yeah. ones were, I mean, they were seriously old school. You could just see all the, the, the weld splatter marks on the sides, and they were a flat plate, yeah. if I remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean, complete flat plate, just bent and then welded together. Um, we also got some custom LED yep. lights we on here. Yeah, we put some are... LED lights in, right. just a you know, couple modern modern right. uh, touches to it. But uh, you know, had fun with the paint on it. You know, everything's desert tan, both inside mm -hmm. and outside of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Man, that is just stunning. Got our tow hooks, and we come down here below. And check this out. This looks like this would originally have had a Dana 60 in the front and a 70 in the back. And these look like Dynatrack, like super 80s maybe. Um, yeah, beautifully done. Just so clean. Gosh, it's like a show truck. Wait, it is a show truck. <laughs> that is nice. I'm looking at the suspense and the shocks underneath here. Uh, can't quite tell what those are. But um, yeah, well, okay, so... You said beverage. Let's. I see some parts of this vehicle that are not stock over here on the driver's side. Actually, let's look into the cabin. Yeah. Um, I know that you guys did a lot of stuff with the interior. Um, I mean, tell us about tell us about what we're going to find in. Yeah. This. So we, you know, we like to have fun, and you'll you'll notice some, uh, you know, some little what we call Easter eggs, even with uh, some of the things that we'll we'll get into. But on the inside of it, we took a. An, an old ammunition box and turned it into our our center console and uh, played a little uh, tribute to some uh, Sylvester Stallone and uh, Rambo uh, Rambo uh, imagery in there and you'll notice I'm looking the, at that. the That's shifter it, right? as well yeah the Ram Rambo Rambo yeah major first blood <laughs> yeah. oh man yep. we got yeah the ammo box oh beautiful B and M shifter and we got some custom I'm not sure who manufactured these gauges, but a whole set of custom gauges. And if you remember the original ones with these big old school chrome yep. clanky knobs, I mean, yep. very analog. And this is just awesome. We got a whole set of toggles down here that probably run. You've got a selection of LED lights. Yep. Right? Yep. Exactly. And then I noticed a change on the spotlight. Yeah. 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 We incor I mean, we incorporated one of our LED lights into the spotlight as well. Uh huh. And so that's an interior directional headlight yeah. or headlamp. So if you guys, this guy right here was original, like on the M715, going way back to the yeah. beginning, Korean or, War era. And so that's a directional spotlight. Super cool. Nice. Yeah. 
And if we roll down in here, we've got this really nice, tell me about the steering wheel, because this doesn't look original. Either. Yeah, correct. We, uh, we had some fun and, you know, inserted, uh, modified the, the, the center of the steering wheel with the old Jeep logo in there. And um, we have our backup camera that we incorporated into it as well. And um, if, even if you poke to the, uh, again, the peak of the, the, the rear as well, um, we've done some fun things that we'll, uh, I'm excited to talk about back nice. there too. So I'm going to grab the camera here. We're going to roll in and check out Sly Stallone. Look at this. <laughs> Tribute. Oh, Rambo. That's it. All right. Nice. We're going to do uh, come around to the uh, other side here. And we've got some uh, cool storage bins. I mean, God, look at this. It's just immaculate. But so these, they, they had storage bins on both sides. I remember that. They were for whatever, medical equipment. Of course, this was an ambulance. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing originally was wired for electric, uh, which I have a friend of mine that made one into his like living overland vehicle uh, in Mexico. And that was really cool. So tell me about this. First, tell me about this. I don't recognize the graph. Yeah, so, you know, I had a little fun. You know, with it being a, a Vietnam era uh, ambulance, my, my father was actually drafted into the Vietnam War. And, uh, he was in the 25th Infantry Tropic Lightning Division, and, and I always remember that logo from when I was a kid, seeing it on his old uniforms and that. So I thought I'd pay tribute to him putting it over the, the battery box on uh, this side, so kind yeah, of a awesome. little Easter egg. So, so what's uh, inside? What's behind us? Yeah, so we've, we've got uh, pretty straightforward <laughs> power unit. Nice. So that's your inverter and uh, auxiliary uh, Mopar battery. Yep. All right super clean so let's run around to the other side i saw like this big uh opening door that's not <laughs> it's not like an original m725 kind of thing and uh i think this is where things might get interesting <laughs> so uh you know as i said we you know every year we like to bring a vehicle that we can distribute beverages or t-shirts in this case today but we um we you know good place for our jeep performance parts logo on the side but we actually uh Cut a hole in the side of it, and we've uh, created a oh. portable portable bar here. Oh, get a look at this. I see a tap up there. Yeah, look at this. And we got the uh, seven slot grill. Yeah. With the bottles, uh, it doesn't look specific, but to me, it kind of looks like a Pacifico model. Maybe a Corona, right? That is super cool. So, drive in and surf. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. Let's walk around yeah. and check this out from the back. Yeah. So I like this, got the bumper hoops on it, got your jerry cans, that's a Saigon, Saigon yeah. mansion. <laughs> wow. And so Look at this. we, uh, we, we had some, uh, had some fun on the, on the roof as well, you know, with the wanting to be able to stand up inside of it, we actually cut the top and, and we put, uh, actuators on it and the roof raises about 16 inches. So. Um, pretty easy for someone, you know, six three or so to be able to uh, to walk around in there. Well, I'm in here now, and I got plenty of headroom, and I'm six foot tall. Huh. Wow, you got the whole cabinet system down here. Nice, and look at that, the beer tap. So I think you could not only serve beer from this, but personally, I think I could live in it. <laughs> Oh, that is just, that's just awesome. All right, we got um, like, oh, these were kind of like the old blackouts, but they've been modified. Yeah, yeah, right? yep, yep, yep. And we got Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris Chuck, approved, did you Chuck know? Chuck Norris really approved that? <laughs> I think he hey, would approve man. of it. <laughs> I think he would, he'd probably love this. And then if we crawl underneath, I'm gonna put the steps back up. And slide underneath here so all right again beauty looks like another Dynatrack axle all painted in desert sand got our uh, hydraulic bump stops underneath and a set of coilovers who makes that could be a fox Bilstein. um yeah wow just awesome everything's just run perfectly very clean dual exhaust Look like uh, mm -hmm. magnet flow mufflers maybe up there, but um, I like it. All right, and the fuel cell. So this originally carried like 28 gallons, I think, back here. I think we made the fuel cell. Yes, 
Yeah. All right. Wow, super cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Mark, what what did we miss? Did we miss? I mean, I, mean, I know we missed a lot. We got the backup <laughs> camera up here too. Got the backup camera. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I think we covered a lot of the high points on it. It was a super fun build for us. You know, it's just, uh, you know, I love, you know, vintage, vintage machinery and being able to put our, our crate motor in here and, and modify it to have some fun with it. I actually can't wait for us to take it, uh, take it out to Moab next year. So is this vehicle a question? We may need to borrow it. <laughs> like, I don't know, trip across the desert, you know, set up the camp with a beer tap or oh, doesn't get any better. right in the middle of the desert or like an extended trip across Australia. Love it. Love it. Love <laughs> it. I think that's huh. awesome. All right. Well, we're going to check out another couple more of uh, Mopar and Jeep and Ram trucks. Uh, cool concepts here uh, or just cool vehicles uh, at the 2021 SEMA show. So we're going to take a break here. We're going to go check out a few others.